welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about the autumn and winter trends that are currently happening right now and basically they're my favorite trends that are happening and I feel like the most important trends. If you guys saw my last year's fall winter trends, it's kind of funny because I feel like those trends are still very much relevant and still happening. I like to choose trends that are gonna have a little bit more staying power that way if you are gonna invest in a trend it's gonna basically serve you all year so and maybe further than that they're not classics but they're not fads either there's definitely importance behind why these trends are happening so we're gonna discuss all of that right now so sit back relax I might get carried away I love I love talking about fashion and the trends and the importance of fashion and everything like that so <laughs> get ready guys but I am also gonna be showing you how I have been using these trends because I've already been incorporating some of these trends into my everyday wardrobe so my first trend that I want to discuss I'm calling it suit yourself so it's definitely these power suitings, the blazers, the trousers. I've always really favored that look, so I'm so happy that it's become so popular. I can get so many things at like H&M even and Zara and all of those like really affordable retailers. So it's really everywhere and I think this trend is really about... I mean, it's no secret that the world is a little bit in shambles. It's, it feels very uncertain. There's just so much going on globally. And fashion is definitely a reflection of what's going on in the world. I definitely believe that. I, I mean, it, it truly is. So because of this uncertainty, you're going to see a lot of, like, putting your best foot forward. So, you know, tailored suits. Like, you just want to look your best professional. You kind of do, like, the 180 and try to be as, like, put together as possible. Maybe try to match the fact of this uncertainty so definitely like power suiting and I think also actually it has a lot to do with feminism as well like this rise of I mean I hate to call feminism a trend but definitely you have seen an influx in women speaking out I'm sure you've seen a lot of this like women empowerment being messaged pretty hard during the last couple years I'm pretty sure I even mentioned feminism as a trend I, again i hate to call it that but this rise of feminism and my last year's fall trend so definitely we're gonna continue to see that and i feel like it's kind of funny because even though it's like feminism actually it's women dressing more like men is what it is it's like these check prints these prince of wales check print um very sartorial a lot of matchy matchy which i think is also kind of inspired by clueless which the 90s have kind of been back for a while so i think that 90s vibe is still going strong so like the check skirt with the check jacket and definitely a increase in trousers you can have them be skinny, you can have them be wide, like you just always see a trouser everywhere. And we've seen them paired with slogan type of tees, like feminism type of tees, which I talked about last year as well. So we're still seeing a lot of those like women empowerment t-shirts. It's just like your sans serifs on like a white tee, very basic and very much speaking to you know what you stand for I feel like that is the biggest trend so I wanted to start off with that I feel like it has the most importance on what's going on in the world and that is why we're kind of seeing that in fashion so just to shout out some designers where you can see this trend is definitely Alexander Wang, Calvin Klein, TV, Stella McCartney um, Victoria Beckham. I mean, we, we really saw suitings everywhere, so it's very hard to miss, and I'm sure you guys have seen them in your local malls as well. Like I mentioned, this is my favorite trend since I tend to dress that way to begin with, so I have a few outfits here to inspire you. You guys have seen this outfit if you follow me on Instagram. It's my go-to combo of a blazer and any type of denim, skirt, pant, short, doesn't matter, and something basic underneath or even a graphic little booty, a watch to just polish it all up. This one is by Daniel Wellington and I will have a discount code in the description box for you if you are into it. This next one, it looks like it's black on black but actually the trousers have that check print as well as you can see here. And I just dress them down like trousers don't have to feel dressed up. I love to dress it down with sneakers and just like a basic tee. This one is like I was saying, the women empowerment like sans serif basic tee. So not only can I wear this oversized blazer slash streamlined jacket with my pants like you just saw, but it also doubles as a dress, so I absolutely love this. 
it makes like for such a good versatile piece and you're gonna look chic so this one is from H&M and I am obsessed guys <laughs> so moving on to my next trend is the color red I'm calling this one red hot <laughs> red is definitely the color of the season but I want to say like the color of the year I mean you saw pops of red all over the runways from Calvin Klein again I have a lot of Calvin Klein references throughout these trends because they really hit the mark this year and I feel like Roth is definitely influential so you're gonna see me mention Calvin Klein a lot in this video. Red definitely triggers a lot of emotion. It's definitely statement making. There's no question about that. As we know like red cars they tend to get more tickets apparently. I think red can either trigger love, it can trigger anger. If it's anger we can see of like a lot of people not really happy about what's going on in the world again but I think above all it definitely is making a statement and I feel like what we're gonna be seeing a lot of like a lot of people just expressing themselves and making a statement like that's basically my take on this trend and why it's come about so head to toe and so bold and definitely made a splash for not just the season but I think the year and I even think next year so we kind of saw it first in the autumn winter runways with a lot of the red boots like I know Fendi there's a few other designers that I can't think of right now but definitely Fendi some designers that definitely showcase the red hat trend in their runways was Balenciaga was Jill Sonder Valentino of course Valentino is like known for the red Calvin Klein again Max Mara Todd's I really love a monochromatic look I favor it, I crave it, or you can do like a red boot, you can do a red bag, you can do red glasses. There's so many ways to incorporate red. I love red so much and I feel like there's definitely a tone of red for everyone. Like red goes with anyone no matter what your skin tone or your hair color or your eye color, whatever red is for you so the way i love to mix in red always is with my accessories so these boots here i actually wore this outfit recently so i have it paired with like a blazer dress and also i'm actually wearing tights those hanes tights that i've mentioned in another video they help smooth especially with these boots you don't want to feel all like sweaty and gross so if you're not into those statement making ones you can try something a little more casual like these red patent ones and it's still going to give you that pop or you can do sunglasses red sunglasses were huge you can wear them at the same time or not. Speaking of making a statement, here is a sweater so it's good off my back and I think the red really helps it pop. You can incorporate all three at the same time or one pop of red at once. It's really up to you so have fun with it. This is another look I absolutely love. It's a red suit so again kind of giving into that first trend but it's just kind of my style so that is the way I think you should do trends. Just find ways to incorporate them into your already established style that way you, it doesn't feel like a costume or like you're trying super hard. Next is a monochromatic dress like going out like party maybe cocktail party but done a little bit cooler I think it's very like Valentino vibes to me if you do decide to go for this all red monochromatic look trust me all eyes will be on you so there is no room for shyness girl so my next trend is actually not really like my favorite trend I had to mention it because it's everywhere and it's maximalism so all the time in fashion once you kind of hit you know we've been seeing a lot of minimalism 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 and then it tends to always like do a 180 so then it goes to the other extreme so from one extreme to the other basically it's what I'm trying to say we definitely saw a turn for maximalism and I really think this is all in thanks to Gucci I mean we definitely saw a lot of it last year as well I think Alessandro Michele I think that's how you say it creative director of Gucci I think he's really pioneered this kind of kooky dressing it's you know a lot of pattern definitely I wanted to shout out floral is huge 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 for fall and winter which you know generally is known as like a spring trend everything basically head to toe is a statement so like if Going back to the Gucci reference, you know, there's like berets and these like very kooky like glitter framed glasses and then like a full floral gown and embellished shoe as well. So like everything is statement making and that is what this trend is all about. I tend to shy away from stuff like that but I definitely have incorporated a few floral dresses. I've been really really loving floral especially with like a high neck and like very like, I mean I love like big sleeves like this. So this can be even seen as like maximalist. This is just like my take on it because 
I tend to be more minimalist actually. So some designers where we definitely have seen this trend kind of arise from is 100% Gucci like I've already mentioned, but also Valentino, Prada, um, Simone Rocha, Altuzara, Kenzo. So I'm gonna show a little bit of like how I would style this trend and yeah, let me know how you guys style it. I'd love to see your take on this maximalism trend. So this is my sad attempt at maximalism again. I like to stay true to my style, but I do love the floral trend of the season, so I definitely picked this one up. It's Who What Wear actually from Target. So moving on to my next trend, it is 70s sport. So I know I mentioned power suiting was huge this year, but there's definitely still some athleisure elements still going strong. So I mentioned athleisure last year. It's like that Yeezy season, like hoodies and, you know, track pants, that kind of thing. But this season, it definitely got a little bit of an update with a lot of primary colors. Red, again, another trend that I mentioned in this video, obviously. So red, blue, let's just think of like your normal basic crayon box, like the green and like those colors. I was reading a magazine, I think it was in style, that referenced Nordica ads, like vintage Nordica ads, and I was like, that is so perfect for this trend because that is definitely what I noticed, like in Marc Jacobs, in Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I'm trying to say it as French as I can. <laughs> Just think like vintage ski resort in the 70s, and that's basically what this trend is. I really love it, actually. Like, I love a lot of like graphic lines, like, shapes like this, or you know, just like very geometric. I favor this trend a little bit more than what we saw last year. I mean, I do love a like Vetmont, like streetwear kind of vibe, but I think the whole ski resort life is just so fun, just something that I haven't seen done in a while. So it feels very fresh even though it totally isn't, but yeah. So I'm loving this trend and I think the way to do it is definitely just mix elements of it into your wardrobe so don't do like a head to toe look. I mean it's going to look kind of costumey so I'm going to show you guys how I've been styling mine but definitely I think the puffer is so cool and you're going to be super warm. I mean I wish I can use the trend a little bit more here in LA but I don't think... Yeah, I don't really think I'll be wearing puffers too much <laughs> unless it gets super cold. So this is my take, of course, on the 70s sport trend. Again, I'm just showing you my style here, but definitely experiment with the trend because I don't go like balls out on all the trends. So now that you've seen a few examples, you know, you can kind of experiment and play around with what suits you best. But I dress pretty laid back, so the track pants I bought a year ago, I paired it with this faux fur bomber instead of the puffer. That is a huge part of this trend. The shirt inside is a Viva La Bonita, which I will have linked below but it definitely gives Gucci vibes and again those graphic lines that is a big part of this trend I did want to try the puffer trend out though so this one is black um, which is something that I most likely will wear the most of but I think the colorful ones if you do go balls out on this trend are so amazing so this is my favorite sweater that I purchased recently to wear this trend it's simple and it's sleek and I love the graphic lines on here which again is a huge part of the 70s sports trend and I also forgot to mention these stark white booties that I've been wearing throughout are a huge part of this whole like vibe for sure so the last trend that I wanted to discuss as far as like my favorite favorite trends that are happening at the moment is Americana. So Americana, I love anything rodeo, I love anything like cowboy, I don't know, I just gravitate towards it. I think it's because I love a collared shirt and I love like denim on denim. I think the inspiration for this is very like Rosie the Riveter again, I think like feminism and women empowerment. But then also just like US history is like an inspiration as well. So yeah, definitely you're, we're seeing a lot of these Western style shirts with like the two pocket like we saw in Calvin Klein. We saw some bandana print at Alexander McQueen. We saw a lot of leather actually, so that kind of ties in with like the cowboy feel. Alexander Wang had a super like Western style type of jacket. Uh, we just saw this trend kind of trickle all over the runways. Adam Selman, Dior, Coach. Oh, I think whatever Coach is doing right now, their whole new vibes like over the past mm, three-ish years, like they're just really hitting the mark. And I think bringing in Selena Gomez was like such a genius move so kudos to them I'm so happy that they were able to revive their brand yeah I really have been loving like all the studs and like like I'm saying the leather on leather a lot of stars so that's very Americana it's just very cowgirl chic this is definitely a go-to outfit for me I absolutely love this shirt you guys have seen it on my channel already it's very much Western Zara has a ton of Western if you guys want to try out this trend and these jeans are Wrangler which I feel like are the perfect like obviously cowboy cut so 
Check it out! There was a lot of different fabrications that we saw play in this trend. So suede, leather, here are actually, these are some pretty sick boots. Um, they're boot pants, but they're all leather, they're so cool. And the jacket has like the utility with the studs, very western, you can tell by the collar. Got it at a thrift store actually, so check there as well. And then other fabrications like the teddy bear coat, one of my favorites for um, fall and winter. And also denim on denim, which I already mentioned I absolutely love. Oh, and Tommy. Tommy definitely had a lot of that Americana going on as well. Ralph Lauren, of course, like all these American designers. So, <laughs> I can keep talking if you guys want. So, I also created a little cheat sheet for you guys if you do want to introduce these trends into your closet. So, what you can find is key takeaways, so just like the bullet points of like what the trend consists of, as well as a little shopping guide, which I pulled pieces from pretty affordable online retailers. So these are my picks for each of the trends that we discussed today. So those are all of my favorite autumn and winter trends of 2017, 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, just getting a little more background on it. I can literally talk fashion all day. So if you guys like these types of videos and you just wanna like sit back, learn a little bit about my take on fashion and what my favorite trends are, then yeah, give this video a like. And what I really wanted to do actually, and let me know if you guys are into this, I'm gonna put a little poll. I'm gonna try this poll out. So hit the little eye thing and take a poll if you guys would like to see me do like predictions. I love to fashion forecast and as you can probably tell, I love to see like what's going on in the world and seeing how that translates into fashion. So I thought it'd be fun if I did my predictions for spring, summer. So the spring, summer 2018 shows have already passed like they all those fashion weeks have you know they've all the designers have shown their collection already so I always like to look at running themes or to see you know just like to predict what's coming up so let me know if you would like to see that I'm gonna try to work out this poll situation if you didn't see it pop up then just leave me a comment below thank you guys so much for listening to me go on and on about all my favorite things that are happening right now in fashion but also I'd love to hear from you guys like let me know what your favorite trend is either one that I discussed in this video or maybe I didn't mention your favorite trend that you notice that is going on. I'd love to hear what that is. So leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.